Welcome back to Python scripting in Unreal Engine. This time we're going to set texture parameters programmatically by condition. Taking a quick look at the two textures in our Unreal Engine, we can see that it sRGB is enabled and our compression setting is put to default instead of masks. We want to change that. As always, we start off by importing Unreal into our scope and then define the class instance of our libraries that we want to use in the script. For this tutorial we need a source directory, which will be slash game in this case. We want to include all the subfolders for now and we want to keep track of how many texts we have adjusted. As we have previously seen, the way to list all the assets is by using the editor asset library dot list asset method. We only want to adjust the parameters for a given set of texture types. Therefore we will use this list to do some text comparison. For each of our assets we want to do a test against all of the patterns to see if our texture name is contained in this color patterns list. If we switch to the Unreal Engine and we execute our script we can see that for both textures we are comparing it against all the suffixes. The string library provides us with a method that can check the containment of a string in another string so we will use that here. And before we do some mutating changes, we want to do some logging to see whether our script would work fine or not. The changes our script will be doing is nothing serious, but if you have scripts that are deleting assets from your folders or from your whole project, it might be suitable to test it without actually mutating your project beforehand. After finishing the logging, let's switch back to the Unreal Engine and test out our script. Here we can see that only one texture matches our search patterns and would be adjusted if our script would already do some changes. As you can see here, nothing has changed yet, so let's go back to our script and actually set the properties in our textures. Since the current asset variable only holds the name of the asset, we first need to load the asset. Once the asset is loaded, we can do some mutations on it. In order to understand how to mutate parameters, let's check out the object based documentation. And here we can see that we have two methods get editor property and set editor property. Let's go back to our script and make use of the set editor property method to set the sRGB flag to false. And our compression settings to TC masks. When switching over to Unreal Engine, we can then go in and re execute our script, and we can see that we get an error that says something about texture compression settings. If we take a look at our text here, we can see that the sRGB element has already been unticked, so let's undo that here. And dive back into our documentation about texture compression settings. Here we can see that this is an enumeration, so we need to use the actual values here, which is TC masks. In our script, we simply need to replace the TC masks string with the unreal.texture compression settings.tc masks enumeration element. Going back to the Unreal Engine and re-executing our script, we can see that there is no error now. If we check the texture properties of our poster metallic now, we can see the sRGB is unchecked and our compression setting is set to masks. If we want to add more suffixes, we simply have to enrich this list of elements here, since all our elements will be checked against that. This concludes the script for our texture parameter setter.